We are in upstate New York at a place called Tupper Lake at Rocket River Brewing. All right, I'm gonna start with a red ale because I don't really get to try red ales very often, so I'm kind of curious about how it tastes. Wow, it definitely tastes a lot of malt and a little bit of caramel. And I'm swirling it to check out the lacing. It's looking pretty lacy. Did you like that for him? Very nice. I'm gonna try to salt the caramel yeah, porter. I knew that it was gonna be your pick. So it's salt the caramel, so I'm definitely getting some hints of the caramel. The salt is actually coming through as slightly bitter, I would say, something like that. Okay. So it's a fairly light porter. Yeah. It's not thick, but I like the the salt, I would say, in a good way, is probably the, the more dominant taste that I'm getting. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try the um, mango wheat, because I love wheat beers. It's one of my favorites. And uh, this is one of my picks. Wow. Crazy lemon. It's like really lemony. And then it's like after the first taste, in the mouth, you do get that mango. It, it kind of tastes like, you know, breakfast fruit salad or something. And it's nice on the palate? Is it easy on the palate? It's nice on the palate, and the, and the mango lingers. Oh, so we got the last guy standing here. It's saving the best for the last, according to Cooper, because he likes his IPAs. This is a... It's a batch series number two. It's 5.5%. They say it's a simple grain bill, mm -hmm. which it probably has maybe two grain grain types in it. Citrus in here. Wow. Classic New England IPA. Very nice job. But the nose just, wow, it just comes flying out at you. Okay, they were all delicious, but the winner is the IPA. We'll take a four pack of this to go.